GIS is basically a government public relations and marketing firm. We serve the government of the day and we provide services in graphics, in electronic media, internet, crisis management, crisis communications. We do speech writing, press release writing, press conference moderation, and press conference preparation. We showcase all of these services on our GIS website, which we're very proud of. We launched it because we realized that we tend to be very behind the scenes. The public really does not know what GIS does. And from a standpoint of public accountability, it is, it is important for us to tell people, but not to become the story ourselves. The website is www.gis.ky, and we really hope that the public logs on, they find it to be useful, and they give us feedback on what they think about it. In a world where Google is a verb, one cannot go without a web presence. Um, and as such, it was important for GIS to go online. I kind of wanted to put an emphasis on a clean and dynamic look. I felt that in some websites, so much text on the front would be sort of an overload, and having a full photo put an emphasis on what government was doing and had an easy point of reference. Users can view GIS Spotlight videos. They can see photos of the different ministries and departments that we work with. They can also read articles, share those articles, and download these articles in Word or PDF formats. Some of our major projects include the work for the Constitution, of course, Commencement Day, Heroes Day. We have done work on H1N1. We have done work for the Scotiabank Charitable Trust. It's called Caring for Life. We are behind face awards. The recognition section exists to inform the public that we do quality work. We have won awards through the Caribbean Broadcasting Union. We've also won the Chamber of Commerce's Best Booth Award. Many times our, our customers don't see immediate results, but with a website you send them the link the moment the story is posted. And I have had very good feedback from customers who said, you know, wow, that looks great, because they can actually see the photo, they see where the story goes. We also have Twitter feeds on, on everything we post. I think it's essential these days to be online, to do Facebook, to do other social media. While government, we're not really marketing a product, but we need a presence because people go to these social media. You can do it on your Blackberry, and especially in emergencies. If you have a presence, people will go there to find information. GIS Spotlight is our weekly program where we highlight what government is doing for the people of the Cayman Islands. And we find that a lot of people are very interested in the stories that are told, but it's difficult to different schedules that people have for them to sit down and watch it every time that it's on. And with the website, what's been really great is it gives people access to the stories at their convenience. The GIS website is really easy to use. We're constantly refining different sections to ensure that it continues to be uh, an easy website for anyone of any age to use.